In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through all the different components that are required to be able to interact with the objects with our hands, which means that we're gonna be adding what's called a hand grab interactors, also a hand grab interactables, and lastly, I'm gonna be covering how we can use the hand grab points to be able to modify where the joints are placed in the position of our hands as it relates to the poses against some of the objects that we're grabbing in virtual reality. So let's jump into my computer and I start working on it. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how we can add support for hand grabbing, which means that not only we're gonna be able to use our controllers, which is what we set up on the previous video, but we're also gonna be able to use our hands to grab the objects that we have here in the scene. So to get started, let's go ahead and expand the Oculus Interaction Sample Rig, then go into Input of VR, and you're gonna see on the controllers that we have the controller grab interactor left and right, which is what we added on the previous video. For this video, I want to go ahead and collapse that and expand hands, because we're gonna be focusing on hands from, from now on, which is one of the powerful things about the interaction SDK. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Oculus Interaction Runtime, Prefabs, and then Hand Grab, and we're gonna be adding a Hand Grab Interactor for both hands. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other hand. I'm gonna drag it and drop her in there. And then it's a good practice to basically rename this to left and then post fix it with the, you know, if this is the right hand, then make sure that that's post fix with the right hand. So once you do that, what you need to do is we're gonna go ahead and associate the hand ref with the left hand and also this one with the right hand. Now, we don't have anything here that supports basically grabbing objects with our hands just yet. And that's because if you go into all these interactables that I have in here, they all have a grab interactable, which is basically that it's going to be able to be grabbed by the controllers. So if we wanted to do that with our hands, I'm gonna do something here to all of these game objects and I'm gonna go ahead and add something called a hand grab interactable. Make sure that you type that correctly. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with all of these ones. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that, paste that. I'm gonna go ahead and do and select them all. You can also search if you wanted to search for them. And, if that makes it a lot easier, then you can do that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and zero out all of the positions. And then once you do that, what we're gonna add is gonna be the hand grab interactable script. And then this is gonna be the main script for anything that we're going to, where we're gonna be interacting with an object, right? This is gonna be on the target object. It's not gonna be on the hand. So once you do that, all you really need to do is, I'm gonna go into these two here, which is gonna be the, the objects that I have for resizing. So these two objects I can actually resize with my hands. So if you don't do this, it's not gonna work right. So just change it to be the, the snap tab is gonna be hand to object. Otherwise it doesn't, it doesn't really work. And I can grab different items. Looks like I collided with another item that had physics. And I can grab this one, move it around. And this one so I can rotate. I can also, this one is constrained because it's one of the ones that we added a constraint on the translation, either on the Y axis or Z axis. And then this one's right here. Let me just bring it in here. This is some of the ones that we can, you know, we can resize. And they also have physics on them. So we know that everything is working as far as like being able to grab objects, but things don't look realistic yet. So a couple of things that we can do is we can also enable physics, which is gonna allow us to collide with some of the objects. So if I were to play this really quick and just show you how this works, the my hands are gonna be going through the objects, right? So if I go and do this, this is an object that has basically a collider on it, this one as well, this one as well, and then some of these ones are kinematic, so I won't be able to move them around. So how do you actually add what's called the, the hand capsule so that we can collide with some of those objects? So if you go into the left hand visuals and also the right hand visuals, we can enable the hand physics capsules. So with physics capsules, I should be able to collide with some of these objects. I can push the box, I can bring the box up, and then, you know, it just looks more realistic. Okay, so the next part that we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding something called synthetic hands, which is gonna allow us to create better grabbing poses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and disable these two objects. And then we're gonna go down to interactions. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this. And if you go into runtime, then go into prefabs, you're gonna see that we have something called, a folder called hands. And I'm gonna go ahead and collapse this because we don't need that for now. I'm gonna drag and drop the left hand synthetic. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the right one. Okay, so once you do that, there's gonna be a couple of changes that we need to make in this. So if you expand it, go ahead and expand that too. You're gonna see that this has a, a data modifier. So the data modifier is gonna be the hand that we're trying to 
modify and what that's going to be it's going to be basically for the left hand synthetic it's going to be the left hand and then for the right hand synthetic it's going to be the right hand and i believe this is so that we can get the information from either the left hand or, or right hand and be able to modify the skeleton because if you look in this in here this has all the skeleton and all the different joints so once you do that there's going to be a couple more things i need to do so I'm gonna go ahead and add a component and this component is going to be the hand interactor visual. And once you add that, it's gonna ask you for a couple of settings. So I'm gonna start with the left hand synthetic. And that one is going to be the synthetic hand is gonna be itself, basically that component. And then on the right hand, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but it also takes in a snapper. And a snapper is gonna be the actual interactors that we created because we want either the left hand or the right hand to be able to snap to the surfaces, if we have any surfaces or if we have a specific points, we can tell the hands to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus symbol here for the right one and also for the left one. So on the left one, I'm gonna go ahead and expand the hand interactors on the left hand. And I'm gonna drag and drop the hand grab interactor left to the snapper property. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the right hand synthetic. Let's go ahead and make sure that we add the right interactor and make sure that you grab that component. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this. And then that should be everything that we need to do in here as far as like being able to snap with the objects. All right, and the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna modify some of these objects so that we have better grabbing interaction. So what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and expand it and go into the hand grab interactable. And you're gonna see that this has a bunch of different settings in here, which I will cover as we do more videos, but today I wanna to focus on hand grab points. So what I'll do is I could go in here and add a grab point by just clicking on this UI. What I'll do is I'll just right click and then create a new empty. This one is just gonna be called the hand, hand grab point. And then this way we can create it manually and we have more freedom and I'll show you why. Then on this one, I'll just grab, I'll add that component as well. And you're gonna see that as soon as I do that, it adds the hand. If it doesn't show the hand, that means that you don't have the ghost provider, just go ahead and click in here and you can just associate it and then it'll show you the hand with all the different points that this has. So if you look at these gizmos, these are gonna be the gizmos that are gonna allow us to modify the finger positions. So that's good and all, but that's how it's going to look. That doesn't look good when we grab an object, right? So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go back into hand grab interactable. I'm going to click on this plus symbol and I'm gonna associate that with the hand grab point. Then I'm gonna get back into my hand grab point and we're gonna be adding a new component in here which is gonna be a surface type. And this one is gonna be a box surface. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna see that we have this kind of kind of like a flat plane that shows as a gizmo. So we're gonna to have to change a couple of settings to be able to make that and align that, which is why I made that a child because we can offset it. And we also have other options in here that you can offset on the snap, but I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm just gonna set this one to I think the y-axis I ended up doing 0.05. And then on the, on the z-axis, I did the same value, but a negative number. That way we can align it perfectly there on the very top. So once you do that, there's a couple more things that we need to do. We need to determine, okay, is this gonna be for the left hand or is it gonna be a, a hand grab point for the right hand? So this is where you can control. You can also control what thing, how the fingers react. If we want the top and the index finger to be locked, we can tell it to do that. If we wanna constrain it based on these points, we can do that. If we want the pinky finger to be able to be free, we can do that. I'll show you how that works as well. So the next thing is, is that you need to basically drag and drop the box surface here. And then once you do that, you're gonna see that this is gonna give you a file surface. And as soon as I do that, now we see edit fingers, right? But I can go here and then basically move my, my mouse around. And it's gonna show me where the hand is going to, how the hand is going to be snapping to those points. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and edit that a little bit. So I'm gonna click on edit. All right, so I think I'm happy with these changes. So that's cool and all, but what if we wanted to support the right hand too? So there's one trick in here that you can also use. So if you go into the hand grab interactable and we click on create mirror hand grab interactable, you're gonna see that as soon as I do that, it's going to mirror that point. I don't really like to use it because it basically adds it to the, basically to the parent. It didn't do the same thing that I have in here. But I mean, for quick testing and changes, you can do that and then you can just readjust your points depending on how you want to, you know, how you want to do that. But you can see that this point right here is assigned to the right hand. 
So what I'm gonna do on the right one now is I want the pinky to be the pinky finger to be free on one, but on the other one I wanna I wanna have it maybe on this one we can just have a constraint as well. And in the constraint one, we can also have an independent constraint on the other hand. So I can go in here and then just constrain the pink and finger here so that it looks different with my with my right hand. And I'll just go ahead and do something like that. It doesn't need to be perfect. We just bring it in here and then do something like that. I just want to show you the difference between two, the, the two different hands. And then that you have the, you know, it's independent, right? Whatever I do on the left hand, it doesn't affect what I do on the right hand unless you want to mirror them and then just wanna make sure that you, you know, you know how that it's going to work. Okay, so now that I did that, let's go ahead and do something similar with the sphere and then I'll show you the results as soon as we have that as well. So if you go to the sphere right now and we're to expand it, we're gonna do something similar in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new empty. This one's gonna be a hand grab point and then I'll do the same thing. I'll just grab the, the a component and on this one, we'll just do the same thing that we did, hand grab point and add it. So what we can do here as well is we can do the add component and I'm gonna do the same thing, but it's, except it's gonna be an sphere surface. And this is really cool because it's going to look really realistic and I'll show you, I'll show you why that is. On this one, I'm gonna change it to be, I think I did 0.01. And then on the Z axis, I did negative 0.0.4. And then you, can, you guys can see that now that kind of aligns a little better there. But what I need to do as well is I need to drag and drop my surface here and then I'll just do follow surface. And you're gonna see that as soon as I do that, it's going to, you know, it's going to kind of look okay, but not really perfect. Okay, so I think I did an okay job. It doesn't look perfect, but let's go ahead and click on follow surface and see how this looks. And I can go around and it's snapping, I think it's snapping perfectly to it. Okay, so our hands are currently working. I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab this. And you can see how it's attaching based on that grab point that I set up. And we can do grab it in here. And if I wanted to do my other hand, I can also grab it. Grab it with this hand, rotate it, and everything is working. What about the sphere, right? On this one, let's see, I have the pinky, I'm trying to move, move the pinky, but it doesn't allow me to move it. On this one, it does allow me to move it because I set it as free, so that it's working fine. If I wanted to use both hands, it'll basically just lock in place. The next thing that I wanted to show you is on the Oculus Interaction and then hand pose recorder. This is gonna be something that I'm gonna be covering on the next video, but just know that it is available. There's currently a couple of boxes, so that's what I, I don't wanna cover it with version 38, but I'm going to be upgrading this project to V39. But this allows you to basically record what we did on the hat grab points manually. We can also just do it in real time. We can position our hands around the cube and basically create a snapshot of that hand grab point, which is gonna make it a lot easier when we want to create multiple hand points for different type of objects. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because that's gonna allow me to bring you a lot more videos. Thank you guys.